Presenting 10 Most Collectible Classic Mopar Muscle Cars. Number 10, 1970, Plymouth Duster Rapid Transit. Estimated value, $264,000. The Plymouth Duster is the most affordable classic Mopar muscle car and fully restored versions can be found for as little as $25,000. Then, there is this six-figure duster that seemingly makes no sense. It turns out it was part of a traveling roadshow to promote Plymouth's rapid transit system, which was their version of Dodge's Scat Pack cars. Plymouth wanted to promote their performance cars, so they customized a 1970 Roadrunner, a 1970 Barracuda, and this Duster, taking them to dealerships across the country. Accompanying the rapid transit caravan was Don the Snake Prudhomme's flip-top Cuda Funny Car, according to Dodge Garage, Proving that even a duster can be collectible, this one sold for $264,000 in 2019. Number 9, 1968, Dodge Hemi Dart Superstock. Estimated value, $302,500. Dodge's compact Dart always had some great performance options, but they never factory installed a 426 Hemi in one. Outside the factory, however, it is a different story. In 1968, Hearst Performance took 80 darts and souped them up with Hemi engines for drag racing applications. These Hemi darts were technically street legal, but Dodge discouraged their use anywhere but the track. They were also fast as hell, hitting 130 miles per hour in just 11 seconds and ripping the quarter mile in the low 10S. One recently sold for $302,500, which is a lot of money, but given the rarity and historical relevance of this ride, it seems like it should be a million-dollar set of wheels. While they did make 80, most were destroyed at the track, leaving fewer existing in good condition. Number 8. 1970 Dodge Charger RT. Estimated value, $352,000. The $352,000 amount this 1970 Dodge Charger sold for isn't exactly chump change, but it does seem odd that this is the highest price a second-gen Charger RT has fetched at auction. 1968 is the most desired year, had slightly fewer cars produced, and lost the most units to wanton destruction in the entertainment industry. It is, on the other hand, a fairly amazing example of a classic Mopar muscle car. It, of course, has a 426 Hemi and 4 speed, as well as matching numbers, but what really makes this Charger RT so special is its excellent condition, that of an unrestored survivor car with only 14,000 miles on the odometer. In 1970, 112 Chargers left the factory with a Hemi under the hood, and 56 were paired with a four-speed transmission. Number 7, 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. Estimated value, $500,000. In the late 1960s, the Plymouth Roadrunner GTX and Belvedere were all pretty much the same car, only with different levels of luxury. The Roadrunner was the bare-bones version and was abundant because it was fast and cheap, while the GTX was a bit more upscale and less prevalent. Belvedere's were quite common, but there were only 55 1967 Plymouth Belvedere 2RO 23 cars ever made. Its legacy lives on, and some have already tried to imagine a comeback. One would expect this rare Hemi-equipped Belvedere to be the most collectible of this Plymouth class, but one sold for a paltry $79,500 in 2013 and another went unsold in 2023 with a $104,500 reserve. Meanwhile, a second-generation 426 Roadrunner blew up the record books in a 2023 Mecham auction, selling for a half million bucks. Number 6, 1971, Dodge Charger RT. Estimated value, $550,000. As weird as it seemed that the 1970 Charger was the highest-selling second-gen car, it's downright bizarre that a third generation sold for $50,000 more. 1971 was when the Charger got a new body style that Mopar fans either loved or hated, and some would argue it was the last good year not just for Dodges, but all muscle cars. 71S were never considered as collectible as their earlier counterparts, but this Charger RT begs to differ. This high-impact Hemi Orange Charger has the obligatory Hemi engine, but surprisingly came equipped with an automatic transmission, not the four-speed manual. What apparently makes this the top-dollar non-Daytona charger is that it comes with a sunroof. That kind of seems like a joke, but it's one of only three Hemi Charger RTs with a factory M51 power sunroof.
Obviously, there's a collector who likes catching some rays while hitting a 13.9 second quarter mile. Number 5. 1969 Dodge Hemi Coronet RT Convertible Estimated value, $687,500. There are some extremely rare Dodge Coronets, like the 1967 Coronet WO23 factory drag car, of which only 55 were ever made, or the one of two 1966 Coronet 426 four-door sedan, but muscle car enthusiasts aren't necessarily looking for that many points of entry. Still, that four-door Mopar sold for $660,000, according to Haggerty, but it's not the top-dollar Coronet. A 1969 four-speed Hemi Coronet RT convertible sold at auction in 2016 for the princely sum of $687,500. If that sounds like a lot, it's because it is, but this car was pretty special, and maybe the only one of its kind. A total of 20,057 Charger RTs were made in 69, but only 107 were the Hemi Coronet, and 10 were convertibles. Of the Hemi convertibles with a four-speed, this is the only documented one. Number 4. 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona Estimated value $1,430,000 Officially, Dodge made 503 1969 Charger Daytonas to meet NASCAR homologation requirements, but experts estimate the actual number at 126. As it stands, only 92 are known to exist, so it's a Mopar rarity. Of those that were built, 70 were equipped with the 426 Hemi, with 22 of those being paired with a 4-speed and only one in T5 copper metallic, like this one that broke the bank in 2023. This ultra-rare Daytona was owned by actor-comedian Davide Spade, who drove a beat-up version of the car in the film, Joe Dirt. Spade picked up this perfect low-mileage Dodge at an auction in 2015 for $900,000. The provenance of him owning it seems to have added greatly to the value because he flipped it eight years later for a $530,000 profit. It's not bad considering it is the all-time worst color in the Mopar paint code catalog. Number 4. 1970. Dodge Challenger RT Convertible. Estimated value $1,430,000. The average price for a 1970 Dodge Challenger sold at auction is $96,621. But that figure is a bit deceptive. These are amazing collectibles. But examples in pristine condition can be had in the $50,000 to $60,000 range. The reason why this average is so high is that a 70 Hemi convertible sold for an eye-popping $1.43 million in 2019. This particular vehicle was faithfully restored with the original 426 Hemi and 4-speed transmission as well the Fender Tag Correct FC7 Plum Crazy Purple Paint. Mopar convertibles always seem to catch high bids because they are exceedingly rare, and this one is even more obscure because it was one of only five 70 Hemi Challenger convertibles equipped with a four-speed transmission. Number 2. 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Estimated value, $1,650,000. The 1970 Superbird was the Plymouth version of the Charger Daytona but was much less rare than its Dodge cousin. With most sources agreeing with a total of 1,935 built, considerably fewer are known to still exist, which is 10 times the surviving Daytonas. Despite being more prevalent than the Dodge, a Plymouth Superbird sold for almost $200,000 more than the highest dollar Daytona. As with all collectible Mopars, the Hemi four speeds rule. Most Superbirds came with the 444 barrel carb, 716 had the 446 pack, and just 135 were Hemi powered, with only 58 426 Hemi 4 speeds. Since this Superbird is equally equipped as David Spade's Daytona and sold in the same year, why did the Plymouth bring more money at auction? The easiest and best answer is that limelight green looks cooler than copper metallic, which is a fancy word for brown. Number 1. 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda Convertible Estimated value, $4,800,000 In 2015, an inviolet 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda Convertible sold for $3.5 million, which is more than enough to qualify as the most collectible Mopar. But there's another that someone was willing to pay much more for. At a 2021 Mecham auction, a Winchester Gray Metallic attracted a $4.8 million bid, but didn't meet the reserve. 
The owner was hoping for $6.5 million, but a car's value is what it would sell for, not wishful thinking. Still, at nearly $5 million, this 426 four-speed convertible is the single most valuable classic Mopar muscle car. It is the most collectible classic muscle car ever. There have been some Shelby Cobras that have sold for more, but those are sports cars. Selling for $1,094,500, a 1969 Copo Camaro ZL1 is the most valuable classic Chevy muscle car, but that's an aftermarket dealer model. This 71 Hemi Cuda is a regular production factory original. Comment below and let me know which of these classics stole your heart. And hey, do you think any of these iconic rides are a bit overpriced in today's market? <laughs>